The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United World Championship! Whoever wins this all-important matchup is going to have a bullseye. We saw Bad Dude Tito earning a future title shot. Next week at the Rumble, somebody will earn a title shot at the time and place of their choosing. But listen to this ovation for Eddie Kingston out of Yonkers, New York. Unbelievable. This is what the United Wrestling Network and the United World Championship is all about, bringing in the very best to face the very best. Get a look at the match. King, that is what it's all about tonight as he makes the title belt sign. He very well could be the next United World Champion. And here comes the champion, the radioactive poppy, Danny Limelight. Put the company on his back, as he said, for seven years. Won the Golden Opportunity Tournament in the finals. Had to defeat, oh, you know, just Willie Mack and Bateman. Then went on to end the history-making reign, the longest world title reign in United Wrestling Network history for that particular title. But the brand new champion making his first defense. He's got a very, very tough task ahead. Diving in to the very deepest end is Danny Limelight. But, I mean, that's really the story of his life. Nothing easy, and he has defied the odds time and time again. We'll see if he can do it against Eddie Kingston. And this isn't Irvine, California. He doesn't have the home court advantage here, perhaps, in Arizona. Here to set the stage for this world title matchup, Adnan Qureshi. Me and me is the best. Introducing first, the challenger from Yonkers, New York, weighing in at 245 pounds, Eddie Kingston! Listen to this ovation for the Mad King. And introducing his opponent from Brooklyn, New York, Weighing in at 189 pounds, he is the United World Champion, the radioactive puppy, Danny Limelight. Stage is set. United Wrestling Network world title on the line. Being shown to the challenger now. The, the second that Limelight won the title. It, Kingston received a phone call, told the results, and immediately was up to this challenge. It has become personal. There has been there has been some serious barbs traded yeah. both ways. Two proud Puerto Ricans, two proud New Yorkers, Brooklyn versus Yonkers, title on the line. Uh, yeah, I would say, you know, Danny Limelight, as great as he is in the ring, he is equally great at talking trash. Gary Payton-esque is the radioactive poppy. And so, yeah, things got personal in a hurry between him and Kingston. Well, if Danny Limelight is Gary Payton, then Eddie Kingston is Muhammad Ali, because they both have the gift of gab. No doubt about it. You know, we mentioned, gentlemen, the competitors that Danny Limelight had to go through to win the title, including Jordan Clearwater himself, showing uh, maybe a size and strength advantage there is the Mad King. How about the Mad King? All Elite Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, National Wrestling Alliance, anywhere he's gone, he's faced the best of the best. Champion takes him down, if only for a moment. If only Eddie Casey taking a walk. Oh, he's asking for a chair. He doesn't want to get himself disqualified here. Can't win the title that way, Eddie. Well, you know, there is a reason that they call Kingston the Mad King. It doesn't take a lot to make him mad. Th things boiling over already here, early going in this main event matchup. And We're looking for another equalizer here. Doesn't want to be denied. You don't want to get yourself disqualified, though, yeah. with the title on the line. This is not, you know, an anything goes environment here. This is a traditionally sanctioned world title matchup. Well, you know the story of Eddie Kingston, right? I mean, he came from a very short fuse that he grew up fighting in elementary school all the way through high school. And frankly, he says that wrestling saved his life that if he had not gotten into the squared circle that he may have wound up in jail. His fuse was that short. And eerily reminiscent of a lot of the same background of Danny Limelight. Yeah. Limelight's gone on record talking about that, saying that, hey, I'm the younger version of you now. Maybe I'm the hungrier version of you now. Limelight matching strength with the challenger again, and it hasn't paid off just yet. 
trying to get the leverage, jockeying for position. The champion drops the challenger down to both knees, wins the Greco-Roman knuckle lock for the moment. And uh, time-tested stuff here to start off this world title matchup, guys. Eddie working his way back up to his feet. They were on nose-to-nose -nose there. Eddie using his weight advantage to drive Limelight into the corner. Oh, tease the clean break, and then just Limelight eating a knee from Kingston. Limelight clearly losing a few pounds to Kingston here. I don't know if the strength game is the one he wants to go with, TK. Limelight known to use his speed, can fly if he has to. This may be a stick and move type strategy that's going to best fit the, the champion. Couple nasty shots there, and that, certainly a wake up call for the champion, but he's still going toe to toe, and I think because there are serious bragging rights. These are two right. stubborn, tough New Yorkers going at right. it. Neither's gonna back down an inch. Drop kick there on the heels of the arm drag by the champ and continues to keep the pedal to the metal, guys. You know Limelight's a part of the bodega. They're gonna talk about this match in the bodega. No doubt about it. Off the top rope goes Limelight. Nice cross body taking down Kingston. Hooks the leg. Kingston able to get the shoulder up. Down at two, the champion in control. This world title match continues right after this. In a world where people drive dirty every day, there's one duck with sunglasses who has a dream to be fast, clean, and loved everywhere. Quackles is giving you the chance to be a champion just like him. He's giving away a one-of-a-kind Quick Quack Championship belt autographed by some of your favorite United Wrestling Network stars. To enter, just scan the QR code on your screen or visit DontDriveDirty.com slash belt. What in the world? I can't let you drive without calling Car Shield, Steve. You drive great, so what if your warranty's expired? I don't want you paying for expensive repairs, Steve. That's so nice. Now, can you open the door, please? I'm afraid I can't do that until you call CarShield. Can I call them later? Their administrators pay for expensive repairs on engines, transmissions, ACs, and up to 6,000 other parts. I'm listening. CarShield is America's number one auto protection company. All you have to do is call before you break down. CarShield sounds pretty good. Think of all the road trips we could have with their nationwide coverage, Steve. I love road trips. And with the money you save, you could get those salsa lessons you always wanted. Put me through the car shield. Dial it. I see why they call you a smart car. <laughs> Don't get stuck paying for sky-high car repairs. Call CarShield before your next breakdown. Call 800-409-2695. 800-409-2695. Welcome back, everyone. Main event world title on the line. Limelight knows what it is like to have his back on the ropes, per se, his back uh, against the wall. No, he's, the lights are being churned out right now. Arm does not drop there, still has some life. And this is ironic because the champion loves to put opponents away with the choke, the uh, Maurice Sonyando, uh, his version of the rear naked. Job breaker there, desperation by the champ, but gets that distance he so badly oh. needs until that kitchen sink time. Oh, right Only to the midsection. Yes. And Limelight, you saw the light starting to dim there. He needs to do something, create some type of counter and create a reprieve from Eddie Kingston's offense. I do want to tell you a little bit about the character of Danny Limelight. That at one point in time, he said he was broke, he was homeless, he was alone, but he never gave up. Oh, oh no. Big suplex there by the Mad King. Yeah, he didn't, but being uh, broken up here by, by Kingston. And you know, in, in Irvine, he won the title. He said he did it for himself, the bodega, his gente, but quite frankly, Kingston's got a whole lot of gente here in Mesa, Arizona as well. And I'm giving you that background because uh, we are seeing the champion with his, again, uh, on the receiving end right now. But the, I think that Danny Limelight has such incredible grit. Well, he's gonna but need it. What do you do when you're fighting a guy who likes pain? And you talk about, you know, the hente and everything like that. As Kingston starts to light up the champion, really was willed to victory in large part by that home crowd in Irvine. Can Limelight dig down deep without that X factor? It is Kingston looking to put the finishing touches on the radioactive poppy right now in a really dangerous situation is Danny Limelight. Holding on there, he was able to block it momentarily was Limelight. And Kingston has certainly been the aggressor when it comes to striking. The high risk favors the champion. Here you see it. Double knees, double shotgun knees there. 
Meteora, but not immediately able to counter, and that is because the champ has eaten a lot of punishment. He's sustained a ton of damage, but Limelight needed that in the worst way. Yeah. He got it able to break it up at least for the moment. And you see Limelight starting to get his bearings back here. This could be the opening that he needed. He's firing up. Catching Story. his second win there. Story written all over Lim Limelight's face there. He's digging deep, tapping into Nitro, finding his second win. And the, the, champ might, the champ might have the advantage of this. Goes into deep water. Boy, that oh. clothesline in the corner, that New York subway was coming into the station. You're talking about deep water. Limelight looking to score from way downtown. Oh. Shazam goes Danny Limelight if I can Al McCoy one time in Arizona. I don't know what that means, but a tornado there by Danny Limelight, as you would say, elevation sensation. It was all Kingston early, but gentlemen, now the champ has found his groove and he's fighting his fight. From way downtown, Limelight going back up. Listen to this crowd. They appreciate the action. Radioactive Puppy with the frog splash. The leg is hooked and two and a half. Could not put him away. So close, near fall. Tough call, but this, this title matchup continues. Both given as good as they get. This is what it's all about with the world title on the line. Unbelievable action. You see Eddie Kingston just reaching at emptiness there. Limelight trying himself back up off the mat after that offense. I'll tell you, bad dude Tito keeping a close eye on this one. The 30 competitors in next week's red carpet rumble keeping a close eye on this. And the fans' eyes certainly glued to the action. Okay. Look at this, throw coming, yes, connects. The style points of Danny right up. Limelight oh. might have cost him. Yeah, popped right up into another clothesline. New, New champ. champion New right champ, here. <laughs> nearly, nearly a new United World Champion. And I bet Kingston had some choice words for Limelight after kicking yeah. out of that one. Kingston thought he had made history and won United Wrestling Network gold. All right, now the verbal assault to go with the physical assault. Yeah, just, just as brutal as the beatdown. Look at this trench warfare on their knees. Neither oh, man afraid to fire as they scramble back to their feet. Dig deep time. Who's got more gas left in the tank? Trading shots here. Back and forth. No, no, no. What is this? What is this? The embassy, the former champion, the golden boy, and Invictus Cash, his henchman, more an incredible world title match. And now look out here. You got Gino Rivera out there. They, they started together. They're cousins, Los Primos Rivera, Slice Boogies out there as well. It is Bedlam here. Papo Esco in the ring, it's broken apart, broken and loose. Embassy stormed the ring, and yeah, absolutely just ruined a great title matchup, but now the Bodega! Oh, found himself in the wrong part of town to the Golden Boy. Clearwater and Cash paying for their sins right now. Oh, the <laughs> spinning back fist! <laughs> oh, and it's back fist to the future. <laughs> and a super kick to the Golden Boy. And the Embassy, Maybe going to rue the day that they entered themselves into this chat. See you bye. And if that happens to you next week, Clearwater can kiss being the uh, getting another title shot goodbye as well in the red carpet rumble. What a moment. The embassy spoiling a incredibly competitive world title match between Eddie Kingston Monkey. and Danny Limelight. Look at me, hey. Good? Homicide said they're all good, so they good? They're good. Ortiz is out there as well. They're saying, are you good? And now look at this. Mutual respect. A whole lot of Give it up for your champion! Danny Limelight! Iron sharpens iron, guys. These two took themselves to the limit. I just wonder what would have happened if this match would have gone to a conclusion. The tragedies that we'll never know, but yes, respect definitely earned between those two. Look at this. What a visual, what a moment between Limelight and Eddie Kingston. Unbelievable. The big question now, who is going to get the title shot whenever they want it and win the red carpet rumble? We're going to find out, TK, next week. But right now, it's all about Puerto Rican pride and puppy pride. We'll see you next week. 
Can't get enough Memphis Wrestling? You need Memphis Wrestling Plus. Subscribe today at MemphisWrestlingPlus.com.